What is up guys, it's Brooklyn here. Today I'm going to be showing you 8 apps that you're going to want to use for this coming year. Before we get started, all of these apps, or most of them, are available on iOS and Android. So no matter what phone you use, you're going to be able to try them out. Anyways, I'll be leaving the links to all of them down below in the description. So be sure to check them out after this video. And without further ado, let's get right into the video! So, first of all, if you guys haven't noticed already, I'm currently using the iPhone X with the white silicone case. And if you're any smartphone, flagship smartphone user out there, you already know that these phones have great camera quality. Like this one on the iPhone X. There's going to be dual 12 megapixel, this dual 12 megapixel shooter. Shoots very awesome, crisp and clear photos with the perfect saturation. But if you're a person like me, sometimes I like to add some greens to my photos, even tune the saturation cool or warm, or even just smack a filter on there, and that's where I'm going to introduce you to VSCO or VSCO. This app essentially lets you throw a filter on there like this one, black and white, make it more saturated, or tune something like grain, you can add some of that into it if you like. It's a very easy to use and intuitive app that I definitely recommend to any iPhone or Android user out there. So moving on to the next app, this one is called Time Page. It is one of the most essential productivity app, in my opinion, that you will have to use. This one essentially lets you add in the events just like this. Say I have a meeting coming up and I can also put in where the location is. And as a lazy person myself, I always like to leave last minute. So this is why this app comes into handy. because. It will essentially remind you when to go out and what time and how long your travel time takes. What is so good about this app is also it actually syncs with your calendar on your phone. So anything that you want to see, any important events that you have coming up will all show up there all at once just like this and also in the widgets itself. Just like this you can see your today, your events of today, your weather, next events coming up and you can also very easily add a new event. And moving on to the third and fourth app. They're called Foursquare and Foursquare Sport. I definitely recommend you use them together because they pair up so well. Now, if you're a traveler like me and a foodie and loves to eat at different restaurants and try them out, definitely go for Foursquare. We all know that Yelp is definitely a great app to use when you're traveling and trying to find different locations, landmarks, and restaurants to try out, but Foursquare works just as well, or even better when paired with Foursquare Swarm. First of all, Foursquare allows you to find restaurants and different places to go to and explore in a city, just like how you would do it on Yelp. So just go in here, you can do things to do near me, go into your list, but what makes it so exceptional is that it has a history. And now, I'm going to move on to the next one called Swarm. And I will be going back to the history part. So as you can see here, I've checked it. I have only five check-ins, but you can check in on different locations. And I'm so forgetful. When you go to a restaurant and eat, sometimes I forget where I've been. And I really like the food there. So definitely, if you go to a place, I'm currently at home, but if you go to a place and press this, you can check in on the restaurant or location you're at and you won't forget where you've been. And then when you go back to Foursquare, you can check it all right out here and even give reviews and add your own pictures or share with your fan, friends and family. If you didn't see this one already, you probably don't really like Starbucks or coffee because this one to me is definitely a no-brainer if you love coffee. And this, of course, is the Starbucks app. They have one of the best mobile ordering service or kind of um, routine thing because when I'm on the go I love to mobile order my drinks. So of course definitely go check out Starbucks and needless to explain to you what Starbucks is, definitely go check that out. Get yourself a coffee and finish watching this video. The next app on the list is called Kitchen Stories and this is definitely one for those who love to cook. In the app it is very easy to use and it allows you to explore lots of different recipes and even how-to videos. So say right here, 
I'm gonna go to how to and it teaches you how to cut tomatoes, how to peel and cut a kiwi, how to prepare chili, how to prepare a honeydew melon, lots of different things to explore. And what makes it so good, and I know that other apps also do this, but there are great recipes on here. I'm, it allows you to say I like this lemon and broccoli pen recipe. I can go into it, check out what the recipe calls for. And then the ingredients, I can just press one button as a shopping list. And next time, when I'm at the grocery store, I can just simply go into the shopping list, press on this, and check out all the ingredients that I need to buy to complete this recipe. It's definitely a no-brainer for those who love to cook, and that is, of course, one of them. Now, the second last app I'm going to be showing you is unfortunately only available on the iOS version on iPad and iPhones, but I'm sure there are many plentiful options out there for Android users. This one I'm going to be showing you is called Paper. We all know that in new iOS 11 or even iOS 10, I'm not too sure, the Notes app allows you to add in your own sketches or even diagrams and use a ruler to draw pictures. But in this app, it is so simple to use. You can have different notebooks. So one of them I have for sketches, one of them I have for papers, and another one for projects. And this app is like its title, like its meaning of its title called Paper. Essentially, it lets you to go in Draw whatever you like with different tools, like this one. I'm going to just use a pencil, and you can draw like that. Very simple to use. I honestly really like these apps because a lot of them just lets you draw, but you can't really save them, and this is one good place to open different notebooks for different things. So if I have an arts class or whatever, I can open a folder for arts and just drop down anything that you want. And on to the final app I'm going to be showing you. This one is called Sky Guide. Unfortunately, again, this one is only available on the Apple Store, but I'm sure there's going to be plenty of options out there for Android users as well. This one allows you to explore constellations, planets, and satellites at night, and using Apple's AR kit, it is so useful. Let me show you. However, it is currently 10.21 in the morning right now, so I can't really show you because it's very, it's still bright outside, it's not even nighttime yet, so um, yeah, it's far away from nighttime. So um, I'm going to be leaving a video over here to show you an example. So that will be it for the 8 apps that I'm going to be showing you today. Hit that like button if you like this video and definitely go check the apps out with the links below in the description. Mm -hmm.